Hello, it's Brux here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm joined by... Ark Celestial Cat. So today, the plan is to actually build a semi-automatic farm, because that fully automatic farm is illegal and we cannot use it properly. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh. Hello? Hello. What are you doing in the stable? I thought we finished this project. Uh, nope. Part of that roof is still missing, and the actual roof has not been done yet. Well, Trista told me that you were given something while I was off the realm. Do you still have it? Uh, yeah. I have it right here. What is it? It's a bug and quail. What does it lead to? A mysterious place. Oh, the mysterious village. I remember I spent, like, an entire video trying to find that place, but then I died to a creeper. It must have been guarding the village. Are these, like, nether coordinates? I believe so. Okay, because it wouldn't make sense for the mysterious village to be right next to base, if these were overworld coordinates. Otherwise, we'd be able to see it, right? Right. Well, perfect. Well, I'm gonna head into the nether. Oh wait, I forgot to bring gold, didn't I? Oh well, doesn't matter, I have full netherite. Not like the piglins are going to be actual real problems or anything. How's my inventory a mess? I cannot stand it when it's a mess, okay? Okay, we are good now. So I'm going to head into the nether. So what project are you working on today? I'm going to try and finish up the stable. Now where did I put my scaffolding? I completely forgot about the nether hub. I should probably start work, start continue working on that project as well. Okay, I'll do that after I do this, because I kind of teased us going to this place, but now that I actually have coordinates, I can make it there pretty easily. So, 92, 99. Okay. Got it. Oh, there's an issue with this book. I remember Tris gave what? me the X, uh, the Z coordinates before, and they said 299, not 99. But that's okay. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna go for the Z coordinates first. And this should be good. My bad. Well, no lava, no lava. I guess we're going for the X coordinates, because lava is here for my soul. We'll do the Z coordinates. Oh, no. Soul sand. I can't believe Tris would just give me the Z coordinates, but not actually give me the rest of the coordinates. I wonder how far they had to fly with their lighter to find this place, because it seems like it's going to be thousands of blocks away. 435. Probably. Be extra careful now, because there is a skeleton barrage after me. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna do something. No, I can't do something that risky. Uh oh. Now I'm being attacked by a gas. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how I can do this and be safe. So I think I'm gonna actually have to use my electro in the nether for once. And we're going to start working on the X coordinates again. I don't think I've ever been to the section of the nether before. So this is fun. Oh, it looks like someone made like a little parkour bridge across lava. That's not safe at all. Let me improve that. That way everything is good now. For anyone who wants to visit this dangerous part of the nether, they'll be safe. Right? Sure. 99 next. Yep. Need to confirm it. There's a bunch of nether bridges here, so... I would assume that we've been here before. Okay, I'm gonna do something risky and use my elytra. I never ever use my elytra in the nether, but... This is a... Kind of... Important situation. Two... 
99. Okay, you need to go away. Ouch. Jeez. I'm being attacked by a skeleton guard. That must be guarding the mysterious village in the nether. Clearly. Or they're just normal skeletons. I'm assuming they're just normal skeletons that spawn. Wait, what are my lay friends doing here? I did not invite you to this party. Well, it's too late now. The lays are following us. Okay, so two... Wait, how am I going the wrong way? Oh. There's an angry ender friend at me. <laughs> Enderman has been defeated. Okay. That's why the quarters aren't working properly, because I was going the wrong way. So, two... 99. Here we go to 435. This is a dangerous part of the nether. So, 435. Okay, hopefully I'll just be smooth sailing from now on. I don't have to worry about anything too dangerous. Of course I said that, I'm probably going to get killed by a bunch of lava or something. But I am already full of netherite, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Ooh, nice and quartz, so I can repair my pickaxe a little. There's always a plus to these kind of things, you know? So, four, thirty, five, okay. Ooh, some more quartz. Alrighty, I have arrived at the portal making area. So let's actually build the portal. I hope the coordinates that Triss gave you are correct. Because I'm about to end up in the middle of nowhere. Would you please stop that? Okay. So this right here. This right here. Then right here. Then right here. Perfect. There we go. This should work as a portal. Doesn't I'm gonna be upset. I actually want the obsidian. Okay. There we go. I'm going through the portal. Hoping there's a machine dangerous over here. I'm in the middle of the desert. Huh. It looks like this village was abandoned in the middle of its construction. I wonder what happened oh. here. Well that's interesting. Now, I remember, didn't Tris say that he was starting a separate nation away from us? That's why we haven't seen him in such a long time. Yes, I believe so. This isn't their nation, is it? I don't think so. Definitely not. Well, that's odd. Why not seeing anything out of the ordinary here at all? It's literally just an abandoned village that was never finished being built. I'm sure you got your typical normal mobs that are spying to the dying, but that's it. That's so odd. I'm gonna keep exploring the rest of this place and see if there's anything interesting. Someone put down the lodestone over here. So they must have had um, a compass that led here. And then we have Oh, it looks like they were starting to build, like, a animal area as well. Interesting. But I don't see any animals here. Just creepers and skeletons and stuff. So what about over here? Hmm, interesting. It looks like there's a little pathway over here of torches. I wonder where it leads. Either that or lava. 
Perhaps I should go into fly mode. So I can investigate the rest of this area. Oh no! You know, I think I realized something. Uh, that is? For some reason, there's areas that are lit up with no discernible light source. Do you think this, these mysterious lights are the reason why this village is abandoned? Do you think they caused something that made all the villagers disappear before they could finish constructing the project? Maybe. That's odd. I wonder what we're going to do with that. Well, I think I should leave this area because it seems kind of dangerous. Not only is it filled with mobs, but it's filled with mysterious light sources. And I do not trust mysterious light sources. I don't know about you. I wouldn't trust mysterious light sources either. Okay, I'm gonna leave. But at least now we have a portal here. I'll meet everyone back in the overworld, I guess. Two, one. Alright, we're back from the nether and... Yeah, those mysterious lights are a little bit of a concern. But other than that, I have no idea why it would be abandoned at all. So, what are you working on? I am doing the stable. Well, it looks like you might run out of mangrove wood soon, so maybe I should start planting down the crop of gold. Indeed. I that would be helpful. I feel like we should expand our mangrove area. Since they require yes. water to grow. Can they grow in the ocean? I have no idea. I'm gonna see if they can grow in the ocean right now. Didn't you have like a mangrove propagule in one of your chests somewhere? Um, it, I think they're in one of the outer chests. You didn't add a button to your iron door, by the way. I will work on that. How are people supposed to get into your private storage room? They're not. Mainly me. I can make go. a wood pipe. I found the... I found the propagule in your your private storage area. Already knew it was in here, so that's the only reason why I went in here. Not to, like, offend you or anything. Yeah, don't worry, that's fine. Okay, how can we only have one mangrove propagule? There's some more out. There's some more out in one of these outer chests. I see. I believe there's eight. Oh, it looks like you can't place mangroves on stone. What if I just simply remove this and turn it to dirt? Then now we just wait for it to grow. Let's see a bone meal. Wait, I have bones on me. I can just make bone meal. I got. Let's we'll see if it'll grow. Yeah, I have 11 proper gills yes. over here. The answer is yes. Mangrove wood can grow uh, ocean. It just needs to be water. It doesn't matter what kind of water. I have grown one mangrovey tree. Here's 11. Okay, good. Okay, let's continue building as many mangrove trees as possible. Oh, there's some dirt here already. Let's try planting this one down here and see if it grows that way. Uh-oh. It did not grow. Well, that's not good. Oh, no. I ran out of bone meal, so it's not gonna grow. Maybe I should check the chest. The um the mob arm chest to see if anyone used it recently, so we can see if they have any bones. Whoosh. You know, ice boats are so fun to travel on. Don't you think so? Yes. You just go zoom. Has anyone used the mob farm? How are we supposed to know? If I... I have not used it recently. 
But does it work? Probably. Hopefully. But it's not as good as the mob farm we built in that other world, though. The one with the trident killer. Okay, honestly, I barely got uh, any experience from that farm. Wait, where is the actual chamber that you stand at? Hold on, I'm coming. Wait, I got it. We're good. Okay, I'm gonna stand here for a little bit and see if I get anything. If I don't, then one though the farm doesn't work properly. Where did you get the tutorial from? YouTube. But did you like use a a widely known tutorial YouTuber? Uh... I'm not seeing any mods yeah. at all. Probably because they would be spawning over right where I am. Because our area is not spawn proofed. Oh wait, that makes absolutely 100%. Mobs aren't going to spawn if there's another player in the world. And if they're in an area where mobs can spawn. Okay, I'm flying back. Should I check the progress on the main groups? You can. Just plant a whole bunch more, I guess. The only issue is they plant on dirt only. They have to mine out the stuff and then go here. And it puts dirt. That's gonna be annoying. There you go. And boop. Uh oh. No! Stop. 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 Uh oh. I'm being barraged by a bunch of zombies. There's a zombie brigade after me. Oh uh -oh. no! There's phantoms too. We need to take a nap. There's too many phantoms. I'm not... I haven't been hit by a phantom once. Well, I just murdered one of them, and now there's one just out and about. Okay, I'm heading over to my house. I'm almost at your house. You said you had a spare bed, right? Yep. Okay, good. Jeez, I was not expecting that. Phantoms just came out of nowhere. Which bed's yours, the left bed or the right bed? Mine is usually the furthest away from the window. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, looks like we're just about out of time. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.